fourth generation originally released in 2010 was the most popular iPod Touch ever sold. How is it still hold up 11 years later? Today I'll be telling you all about that. So this iPod released in September 2010. And let's talk about performance first of all. So this iPod contains an Apple A4 processor which is Apple's first ever Apple Silicon chip, and it's the first ever iPod to get the Apple Silicon chip. It's, and as you can tell, it has multitasking and everything. So let's take a look at how this guy actually performs by, by setting my other iPod to the side and playing a round of the classic jewel jump on here to see how well it games. It's to disable ads as I have the free one. Well, Beatrice can get all the way. Obviously, I just got the low battery alert, so this does not have a great battery on it. And I died. So that leads to the next category here, which is software. The iPod Touch fourth generation got from got from iOS 4 all the way to iOS 6. So it got three updates, iOS 4, iOS 5, and iOS 6. And, it did. and although it had the A4, which is the same chip as the iPhone 4, it only got to iOS 6 because it had half the RAM. But iOS 6. Six isn't the greatest on the iPod Touch forever. Like the, like here, if I try to load up the App Store on both these devices, I know it will take forever. And I think this iPod right here is I disconnectable from Wi-Fi on me. I think that's just a software bug though. Because this iPod runs iOS 4 and this one runs iOS 6. You can, however, still do some cool things with software like Jailbreak It. And I have both of these iPods jailbroken, which can basically make it usable. And you can do more cool things with Jailbreak 2, but I obviously don't use these devices too often, so I can't. So I don't spend a whole lot of time playing around with the, the jailbreaks. And are there any other aspects of this iPod that I want to talk about? Oh yeah, the design. So this iPod has a 3.5 inch retina, 3.5 inch retina display on the front. It's the first iPod to get the retina display. And as you can tell, it looks pretty sharp. And then right at the top, we have the power button. This is in the case, by the way. And at the bottom, we have our tiny speaker, our 30 pin port, and our headphone jack. On this side, we have our volume rockers. On this side, we have nothing. And on the back, we have the chrome, infamous chrome back, infamous for scratching. Yes, Beatrice loves to gnaw on me. And the camera. And the storage capacity right here, which on mine is 8 gigabytes. You get 8 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, or 64 gigabytes on any of these on the iPod Touch fourth generation for the first two years, and then, and then when in late 2012 you could, you could get the eight gigabyte models replaced with the 16 gigabyte model, and then it got obviously no, and then it obviously got discontinued and replaced with the Budge iPod to Touch fifth generation. But you could get white also, as you can tell from this case. If you look at the camera hole, you can get white also, which released in October 2011. As white bezels are hard, white glass was harder to make at the time than black glass. One of the big new, one of the other big new features of the iPod at the time was the front and back cameras. Now, back cameras are a 0 0.7 megapixel sensors. So not very high quality. And then there's your 
and they can take photo and I think maybe probably 480p video. I know it's 360p or 480p, one of those two resolutions. And on the front cameras, we have probably 360p or 480p video again and 0 0.3 megapixel sensors. And that is a and that, that could also shoot photos and videos. And the only feature got, got on the back cameras besides just shooting photo and video was the was the grid. I can show you right now if I open up camera. Okay, maybe on the iOS 6 phone. You got zoom on here too, by the way. I forgot about that. That was an iOS 6, of course. I didn't tell you could enable grid. And yeah, I'll show you some sh shots real quick and video, as well as the microphone quality. And this is how video looks on the iPod Touch 4th generation, as you can tell. Pretty terrible. And this is how front camera video looks on this iPod. Also pretty terrible. And I'm sure the microphone is pretty terrible also. If you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. And I'm trying to hit 300 subscribers before Thanksgiving. I'm currently at 231 or something like that. So please share this video if you're with a friend or something. Try to get, to get my subscriber count up. And also, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I've got social media and such, will, which will link below in the description. Oh, and by the way, you can get these iPods for 20 bucks. And these iPods are obviously not worth it in 2021 for the versions that are outdated. You can't really do install many apps or anything. There's no app support or anything like that. The battery life is terrible, as you can tell. It's a, this iPod said that was low, now it's saying that the battery is high. So it's just very obsolete overall, and I would not recommend this. So thanks for watching, and bye. Or peace out.